in the beginning. In the beginning was the Word. How does that relate to Genesis 1? It's the same phrase, obviously, but how does it relate? In the beginning, God created, but in the beginning, John's gospel, John's gospel account of Jesus, it was the Word. The word, word is a funny word, isn't it? In the beginning was the word, like a bit of sort of markings on a page. What's that mean? The Greek word for word is logos, Hebrew devar. And when it's used throughout the Old Testament and New Testament, it's used to be a a way of God is self-expressing. He is revealing himself. In other words, in the beginning was the revelation of God. In Genesis chapter 1, John's Gospel is saying, in the beginning, you could know about God. He has revealed Himself to you. And now this revelation of God has become flesh, a person. The one who created all things. Colossians 1. All things were created through Him and by Him. All things are created for Him. The God who is one God, three persons. Father, Son and Spirit has sent the Son into our world, the Word Himself, God who reveals Himself, has come and fully revealed Himself as a man, as a person, and He has walked among us. The Creator enters His creation, and He does it because we broke creation. He does it for us. And He does it so that 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, He is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Why do you exist? You exist to give glory to God and enjoy Him forever. But because you'll see in Genesis 3, we broke it because of our broken relationship with God ever since Genesis 3 is sin in the fall, which we'll see in two weeks. Because of that, we needed some repair work. We needed God to reveal himself again, to come, and he has come. And his name is Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. That is a joy, friends. If you're a Christian here tonight, we celebrate Genesis 1. We read Genesis 1 and we go, this is wonderful. This makes sense of our world like nothing else does. No Babylonian epic, no evolutionary worldview. This makes sense because God makes sense because God made it. And he made it very good.